We have Sheriff Tim Cameron on the phone with us right now from St. Mary's County. Thanks so much for calling in, sir. Uh, what can you tell us? Uh, what we know so far is early this morning at the beginning of school hours, a, a male school student produced a handgun in one of the hallways and shot another female student. Um, there was also an additional student that was wounded in that same hallway. Uh, our SRO, school resource officer that was in the school, was alerted, uh, quickly engaged the shooter. The, the shooter and the SRO exchanged shots, um, and the incident ended there. Um, from there, the school went into its code red lockdown uh, evacuation process. Uh, there was a massive law enforcement fire and EMS response, which is ongoing now. Uh, our EOC was activated. Uh, parent reunification was established at the Forest Technology Center in Leonardtown, where we're busing students from the high school to the reunification center. Uh, what we do know at this time is the shooter and the two shooting victims have all been transported and all uh, in critical condition. How old do you know the ages of these uh, of these students? Uh, no, I don't. I, I, I don't know that at this point. So was this a boyfriend girlfriend situation? That was some of the reports that we got earlier. Yeah, I, I think it's too preliminary uh, to say that. Uh, that is not something that I can confirm or know. Uh, did the gunman, at least from what we understand, did the gunman intend to hit uh, both of the young ladies that were hit that were struck? Uh, it was a female student and a male student that were both struck by uh, rounds fired from his gun. So uh, that obviously, as this plays out over the next hours and days, will be part of a very detailed investigation. Uh, Sheriff Cameron, can you just tell us sort of how, how you're feeling right now? What's I'm going sorry, on? Could you say what, that yeah, can you tell us how you're feeling? What's going on in your mind right now? Well, um, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, reeling as a community, as an agency. Um, uh, again, uh, the task at hand is what focuses you now. I mean, this is your worst nightmare. You train for this, you prepare for this, and you hope that you never have to come to that reality and respond to this. So, uh, you know, we're focused on the, the job, the task at hand. I pray for the victims, as our community does. Uh, again, it was a massive response. So right now we're coordinating uh, efforts from multiple agencies that are on scene and that are assisting. How important is that school resource officer to those students? How important was what that school resource officer did uh, for those students and the safety of that, uh, the safety of the school? Well, in this case, uh, we can say unequivocally that his response, the immediate response and engagement, I mean, we, we can only guess what the intent was. Um, that stopped any further assault and attack on any other students. And, and so, you know, it, and that's what we teach our personnel, and that's what's taught across America is, you know, in response to an active assailant, you might be there by yourself, but you've got to go. You absolutely have to go and you have to engage, and that's how you save lives. Yeah, any message? Are you, are you a dad? Yes, uh, and I have uh, a freshman and a senior in high school. Oh, wow. So you can only imagine how those parents are feeling right now. What message do you have for them? <laughs> you know, uh, pray for the victims, uh, and, and, you know, we pray for their well-being and their survival, and uh, uh, this is a very close-knit community. Uh, and, you know, I just hope that in some way we can return to normalcy. I just don't know how you do that as a community after, you know, your most important assets, your most important things in your life are jeopardized, especially in a place that's always been a bastion of safety. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Do, your, do your kids go to that school? Where, do your kids go to Great Mills High School, Sheriff? Oh, okay. okay. We just like lost we, him. We've lost him, but we certainly learned learned a lot of information from our from from our our conversation with him. Uh, again, that was a uh, uh, sheriff Timothy Cameron uh, with St. Mary's County Sheriff's Department.